What's good, hoop heads? Uh, your courtside analyst, Tips and Streams, is back in the game. On the slate today, breakdowns for the latest NBA matchups set to light up the hardwood. Before we tip off, make sure you slam that subscribe button on our YouTube channel to stay in the loop with all our predictions and top picks. So, let's get started. The first today's prediction is for matchup between Cleveland Cavaliers and Boston Celtics. As the NBA action heats up, we're gearing up for a blockbuster face-off at TD Garden, where the Cleveland Cavaliers will take on the Boston Celtics. The Celtics, riding high with a stellar 17-5 record, are set to lock horns with the Cavaliers, who are not far behind with a solid 13-11 scorecard. Peaking at the Cavs' recent court battles, they've displayed a blend of solid plays and some weak spots. On the road, they've been pretty consistent, boasting a 7-3 record. They bring a well-rounded game, both offensively and defensively, averaging 111.3 points per game while conceding 110.6 points. Their shooting accuracy is at 47.9% with a 34.8% success rate from the three-point zone. Donovan Mitchell, the team's scoring leader with 27.6 points per game, and Darius Garland, contributing 19.6 points per game, have been crucial in their run. Meanwhile, the Celtics have shown their might, particularly on their home court. Their recent 120-113 win over the Cavaliers is a testament to their scoring skills and game dominance. They've been shooting with high precision, landing 45.2% from the field and an outstanding 100.0% from the free throw line in their latest game against the Cavs. Their long-range shooting has been remarkable too, with a 40.9% success rate in that matchup. In their direct confrontations, the Cavaliers have often had the upper hand despite their recent stumble against the Celtics. They've clinched six out of the last ten games against the Celtics and have beaten the spread in seven of those encounters. Considering the recent form, team stats, and direct matchups, the forecast leans towards the Cleveland Cavaliers to beat the spread, though I'm confident in their potential for an outright win. It seems like the Cavaliers have a unique edge over Boston, except in back-to-back games, like the one they had two days ago. Wrapping it up, My bet is on the Cleveland Cavaliers to overcome the plus nine point spread. The next prediction is for the match between Chicago Bulls and Miami Heat. Get ready to witness a high octane face off on the hardwood as the Chicago Bulls lock horns with the Miami Heat at the Kaseya Center. This clash promises to be a hoops aficionado's dream with some serious betting twists and turns on the cards. The Heat, sporting a 13 10 record, are showing some solid game despite juggling key injuries. Bam Adebayo and Tyler Harrow are benched, putting a dent in their squad depth and scoring firepower. Yet Jimmy Butler is tearing up the court, dropping an impressive 21.9 points per game and proving he's a scoring machine in recent matchups. The Heat's home court saga is a mix of fire, posting a 2-3 record in their last quintet of home games. Offensively, they're putting up 112.6 points per game, landing them in the 21st spot, but they're tougher on defense, allowing just 111.7 points, which puts them ninth in the league standings. Meanwhile, the Bulls, with a 9-16 tally, are showing some gutsy plays lately, notably against the Bucks and Pelicans. Kobe White is stepping up big time, especially shining in their showdown against the Nuggets. The Bulls are at the 27th spot for scoring, averaging 109.1 points per game, but they're conceding 130.4 points defensively. Stat-wise, Miami is dominating in field goal precision with 47.11% against Chicago's 44.69%, ruling the three-point arc with 38.50% over Chicago's 36.54%, and nailing it at the charity strike with 83.65% to Chicago's 77.96%. However, Chicago is out-rebounding Miami with an average of 42.88 to 40.74 per game. Each team brings its A game in different areas, but Miami's home turf advantage and sharper shooting might tip the scales. In their last 10 head-to-heads, the Bulls have snagged victories and beaten the spread in four, including two wins in Miami out of the last five encounters. All signs point to a nail-biter with Miami slightly favored thanks to playing on their home court. But don't sleep on the Bulls. Their recent form and tenacity make this matchup a potential thriller. Expect a score fest given both teams' offensive leanings and Miami's shaky defense at home. Yet, this matchup's close nature means it could swing either way, particularly with the Bulls showing an uptick in form. Wrapping it up, I'm placing my chips on the Bulls to beat the spread. 
the next prediction is for the match between Minnesota Timberwolves and Dallas Mavericks. In the upcoming showdown on the hardwood, the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Dallas Mavericks are set to light up the American Airlines Center with a classic offense-defense duel. The Timberwolves, sporting an impressive 17-5 stat line, bring a defensive powerhouse to the court. They're a force to reckon with in three-point defense, sitting third in the league, and they've got a knack for rattling opponents into coughing up the ball. On the offensive end, they're sinking trays at a 36.7% clip and hitting free throws at 79.4%, averaging 112.7 points every outing. Flip the script to the Mavericks, who boast a 15-8 record, thanks to their high-octane offense. They're the maestros of the three-point game, topping the charts in trays per game but their defense isn't up to par, landing them 21st in points conceded and 19th in opponents' field goal percentage. They're also trailing in the rebound game, ranking 22nd in the league. A pivotal twist in this matchup is Kyrie Irving's sideline stint for the Mavericks, piling the pressure on Luka Doncic, who's been on a tear lately. The Timberwolves are amped up for Anthony Edwards' comeback, potentially supercharging both ends of their game. Weighing these elements, the Timberwolves, armed with their ironclad defense and Edwards' return, seem primed for dominance, especially against a Dallas squad grinding through their third game in four nights. Expect a nail-biter where defense could be the decider. My bet is on the Timberwolves to snag the win and beat the Spreed, leveraging their prowess on the glass and tempo control. The next prediction is for the match between Brooklyn Nets and Denver Nuggets. Get ready for a high-flying showdown at Ball Arena, where the Brooklyn Nets square off against the Denver Nuggets. The Nuggets are balling hard, dropping an average of 113.6 points per game and sinking shots at a slick 48.8% from the field. Their three-point arc game is decent at 36.4%, and they're dishing out assists like hotcakes, 29.7 per game. On defense, they're grabbing 44. One boards, swiping around six steals, and rejecting five shots a game. The Brooklyn Nets are bringing their A game too. They've been tearing up the court with a 7-2 win record in their recent outings and dominating the road games with an 8-2 against the spread. They've been lighting up the scoreboard, indicating their offensive might. This season saw them split wins in two back-to-back games. Watch out for the face-off between the Nets' Cam Thomas and the Nuggets' Nikola Jokic. Thomas is key for the Nets, averaging 23.7 points in 12 games, along with solid rebounds and assists. Jokic is a powerhouse for the Nuggets, dropping 28.4 points, grabbing 13 boards, and dishing out 9 assists per game. The Nets could be hit by injuries with Lonnie Walker the 4, Dennis Smith Jr., and Ben Simmons possibly out. The Nuggets have their own worries with Jamal Murray's ankle and Kentavious Caldwell-Pope's head injury. Stat-wise, Denver ranks 13th in scoring and 4th in field goal percentage. Brooklyn averages 117.0 points per game, sitting 8th in the league, and has a 47.3% shooting rate. They're also sharp from downtown, with a 39.1% three-point shooting percentage. Looking at their recent face-offs and current form, it looks like the Denver Nuggets might snag this one. They have the home court edge, and their shooting accuracy could be the game-changer. Denver's altitude might throw off the Nets, especially in back-to-back games, but the Nets could still beat the spread with their offensive firepower, expect a score fest, and betting on the over for total points seems wise. Summing up, considering their recent plays, key matchups, and stats, I'm betting on the Denver Nuggets to take the win and beat the 8.5-point spread. The next prediction is for the match between Utah Jazz and Portland Trail Blazers as the Jazz with 716 and the Blazers with 616 hit the hardwood, both squads are hungry to flip the script on their rocky seasons. This showdown is a game changer, a pivotal moment for both teams to shift gears. Scouting the Jazz, they're a squad of contrasts. Dropping 111 points per game with a 44.5% field goal average, they've got offensive chops that haven't fully caught fire yet. Their three-point game, landing 35%, shows promise. Yet, they're fumbling with 16.8 turnovers a game, and their D-game, snagging 6.6 steals and 5.8 blocks, hasn't really brought the heat, leaving them vulnerable. The Trailblazers are trailing just behind in the scoring game with 105.5 points per match and a 43.1% shooting average. 
their three-point game is hovering at 33.8%, but their defense, swiping nine steals a game, speaks to a more in-your-face style that could turn the tide in this clash. Spotlight players, keep your eyes on Laurie Markkinen from the Jazz, racking up 23.7 points and 8.7 rebounds per showdown, and Jeremy Grant from the Blazers, bagging an average of 22.1 points. The Jazz have been hit and miss, especially in their last six outings with a 2-4 scoreboard. Away games see them 13-10 against the spread, showing some muscle on foreign courts. The Blazers, a notch up at 10-12 in home games against the spread, show they can hold their own in tough spots. In their recent face-offs, the Jazz have been the top dogs, winning two of their last three against the Blazers. But injuries are the wild card here, with the Jazz missing John Collins and Jordan Clarkson, and the Blazers sweating over Jeremy Grant, DeAndre Ayton, and Malcolm Brogdon. Last night, the Jazz clinched a win against the Knicks at home. Now, they're gearing up for a back-to-back challenge against the Blazers, including travel. They've had a rough ride in their previous four back-to-backs, losing all. All things considered, this game's looking like a nail-biter. The Blazers might have the upper hand with their solid D and home court vibes, but it's all up in the air depending on Ayton and Brogdon. Yet, the Jazz's slightly sharper offense could keep this game on the edge. My tip? Keep tabs on the injury list for both teams. Wrapping it up, the Portland Trail Blazers, despite the hurdles, seem to have a slim advantage. Playing on their turf, more rested, and possibly boosted by Brogdon's return, they're in the running to snag this one. My bet's on the Portland Trail Blazers at minus 1.5. The next prediction is for the match between Oklahoma City Thunder and Sacramento Kings. In the basketball world, the upcoming clash between the Oklahoma City Thunder and the Sacramento Kings is nothing short of electrifying, poised to go down at the Golden One Center. It's a showcase of the league's stellar scorers, Shea Gilgis-Alexander from the Thunder and De'Aaron Fox from the Kings, each bringing a dazzling mix of quick moves, agility, and scoring flair to the hardwood. It's a head-to-head duel between these point guards, both famous for lighting up the scoreboard and crafting plays, set to be a game-changer in this showdown. Looking at the playbooks, the Thunder have been on a roll, displaying grit and clutch performance. Their trend towards high-scoring showdowns hints at some smart plays in over-under bets. Their scoreboard has regularly hit beyond 241.5 points, averaging around 233.2 in the over-under. Plus, they've shown they can pull off surprises, often securing wins as the unexpected victor. On the flip side, the Kings have had a roller coaster of performances. They're hitting a decent stride against the spread and in their recent matchups, but their offense has been a bit of a wild card. Defensively, they're letting in more points than usual, which could be a weak spot for the Thunder to exploit. Injury-wise, the Thunder are sweating over Lugans Dort, who's on the fence due to an ankle snag. The Kings, meanwhile, are looking pretty solid on the health front. These factors could seriously sway the game's flow and team dynamics. So, who's got the upper hand? The Oklahoma City Thunder seem to have a slight edge, thanks to their knack for thriving in high-scoring games and defying the odds. Their solid record against the spread could be key but don't sleep on the Kings. With Fox leading the charge at home, they're a force to reckon with. In the end, while the Thunder might look better on paper, basketball's full of surprises, especially with talents like these on the floor. My bet, a nail-biter with the Thunder possibly clinching it and beating the spread, riding on their recent momentum. I'm backing the Oklahoma City Thunder, plus 1.5. The last prediction for today is for the matchup between Golden State Warriors and Los Angeles Clippers. Get ready for a showdown of epic proportions as the Golden State Warriors gear up to battle the Los Angeles Clippers at Crypto.com Arena. It's set to be a spectacle. The Warriors, currently at 10-13, are hungry to bounce back after a series of challenging road games, capped by a tight loss to the Suns. Despite their struggles on the road, dropping six straightaway games, they've remained competitive, often keeping the scores within arm's reach. Their attack is spearheaded by the scoring machine, Stephen Curry, who's been dropping an impressive 29.4 points per game. 
However, their gameplay has been a bit shaky due to turnovers and fouls. Meanwhile, the Clippers, boasting a 13-10 record, are flexing their defensive muscles. They've established themselves as defensive juggernauts in the league, adept at dictating the game's tempo. Their methodical, defense-first approach could prove tricky for the Warriors, who thrive on fast-paced offensive play. The potential return of Paul George to the Clippers lineup only strengthens their hand. When it comes to recent face-offs, it's been a neck-and-neck -neck rivalry. The Warriors clinched a win with 121-14 on November 30th, but the Clippers edged them out 113-112 on December 2nd, showcasing how finely balanced this rivalry is. In the betting circles, the Warriors have shown they can defy odds in away games, particularly against the spread. But the Clippers, riding high on their recent form and solid defense, are the safer bet, more so on their home turf. The Warriors' offensive firepower, with Curry in the lead, is formidable, but they need to tighten up on turnovers and fouls to really challenge the Clippers' defense. Taking all these dynamics into account, the Clippers seem poised for a win and are likely to cover the plus six-point spread. Their defensive edge and recent upswing might just tip the scales against the Warriors, who are still striving for consistency, especially in away games, but never count out the Warriors, with their knack for keeping games close and their offensive threat always looming. So my pick for this matchup, I'm rolling with the Clippers to take the win and cover that plus six-point spread. All right, Hoopheads, that's the buzzer for today's predictions. Big thanks for rolling with us. If you're vibing with our picks, slam that subscribe button and get on board. Catch you on the court tomorrow. Peace.